Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Lightmatica, which is basically Scumatica for Minecraft 1.16.3. And it has been a very long time since we updated this tutorial. As you can see, 1.14.4. That's how long ago it was when we updated the Lightmatica slash Schematica tutorial on this channel. So I apologize for that, but here we are today. We are updating it for 1.16.3. But first and foremost, we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown that XYZ slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DNOS Break in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, played on breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you are looking to start your very own Minecraft server for you and your friends, check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown that XYZ slash Apex to get an awesome server set up in under five minutes. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Lightmatica set up in this video. To do that, you want to start off by going to the, I think, second link, yes, second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is actually a text tutorial for installing Lightmatica. I'm going to go through and update it before this video comes out, but pretty much everything here is still working. Um, it still ran with the Fabric mod, for example, and things like that, but um, the versions have changed and some different, you know, compatibility and stuff is a little different. So, nevertheless, this tutorial will be updated. I'm literally, as soon as I'm done recording this video, I update the tutorial. So that's how that works. But nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and once you're here, click on this yellow download Lightmatica button. That will then take us off to Lightmatica's official download page where you want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16. Then under that, you'll see Lightmatica-Fabric-1.16.3. Go ahead and click on the purple download button to the right of that, and it will go ahead and take us off where after five seconds, it will download your Lightmatica mod. So wait for it, there we go. And there it is in the bottom left, Lightmatica-Fabric. There we go, we can go ahead and click Keep. Now one thing I will say here is this download page, right, has some useful information on it, specifically, specifically about using it. As you can see, here is a little tutorial on using it. There are more tutorials down here at the bottom if you're more interested in video tutorials, but this tutorial is going to show you how to get the mod, and then those can take you the rest of the way, as you can see, like right here, being able to use the mod once you get it in-game. I'm going to show you some few basics, how to open up the menu and stuff, but overall, this is showing you how to get it, and this uh, tutorial here will show you how to use it. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and download the compatibility that I was talking about, which is the Malalib. So the Malalib is a compatibility mod for Lightmatica and a few other mods. But nevertheless, this is going to be the third link down below. When you click on that third link, it'll take you here. You just want to scroll down until you see this download Malalib or Malilib, Malilib button here. Go ahead and click on that yellow download Malilib button, and it will take us off to the official download page for the Malilib or Mali library. I don't know how to say it. I'm so sorry. But nonetheless, once you're here, you want to come over here to the right-hand side. Scroll down until you see a Malilib Fabric and then 1.16.3. See that there? Go ahead and click on the purple download button to the right of that. And it will take us off and the download will begin in just a few seconds. Wait for it. There we go. Boom. Download is now beginning in the bottom left. As you can see, it does say Malilib-Fabric, so we're good to keep the file. 100% safe to do that. No worries. And last but not least, we need to download the mod loader that Lightmatica works with, and that's going to be Fabric. Fabric is basically similar to Forge, but it's its own separate mod loader. has a few different features, and that's why Lightmatica uses that over Forge. But nevertheless, you can find Fabric in the description down below, the fourth link down below. we will take you here, where you want to click on the Download Installer Universal Slash Dot Jar. When you click on that, it's going to download in the bottom left, and it'll say Fabric Installer. It's 100% safe to keep it. You may need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. In our desktop, we do have the Fabric Installer, we have Lightmatica, and we have the Molly Lib right there as well. So we've got all three of those right there on our desktop. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries, they're going to be found in your Downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in Downloads, and then have this Downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that, and in here you will find Fabric, Lightmatica, and Molly Lib. Drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Now to get started, we're actually going to be starting with the Fabric Installer. The reason for that is we need to, well, get Fabric installed in order to then be able to kind of like get the Lightmatica mod and stuff like that installed. So to do that, you want to right click on Fabric, you want to go ahead and click on Open With, and then you want to click on Java and click OK. But what if you don't have Java? Or what if these files don't look right? They don't look like these coffee cup logos. So if you don't have Java listed here, or if these files don't look right, what you need to do is go to the description down below and go through this tutorial. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Lightmatica is a Minecraft mod, so you need this version of Java. It's a quick three-step tutorial. Then you should be able to open up Fabric with Java. However, if you can't, or if your icons still look weird and you want to fix that, you can go ahead and do that using the jar fix. Basically, what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them to Java once again, kind of linking them up and making things work and fixing your icons and stuff like that. If you install Java and you still can't open up Fabric, you want to go ahead and run the jar fix to get the rest of the way there. Now finally, we can go ahead and right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. 
It's then gonna open up the fabric installer here, where all you wanna do is make sure it says 1.16.3 there. If it doesn't, go ahead and click on this, find it on this list, and then click on 1.16.3, and then go ahead and click install. It's that simple, it'll be very fast, and then it'll come up and say successfully installed, fabric loader, yada yada for 1.16.3. Awesome, we go and click okay, and then we can close out of the fabric installer. Now it's time to install Lightmatica and the Molly Lib. To do that, you wanna hit the little windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in run. Are you in. We then have this run app here. Go ahead and click on that. And then in this run app, what you want to do is type percent sign app data percent sign. So percent app data percent exactly like that and hit enter. That will then open up your roaming folder where you'll have a dot Minecraft folder. Then in here, you should have a mods folder. But what if you don't have a mods folder? What if there is no mods folder in your dot Minecraft folder like there isn't for me right now? There we go. <laughs> now, if you don't have a mods folder, what do you do? Well, you just want to right click over here on the little like edge here on the left hand side. Just right click over here. Click on new and then select folder. So again, that's right click on the kind of left hand side, then click on new folder, and then you'll have this new folder up here. Just title this folder mods, M O D S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And then in your newly created mods folder, go ahead and open it and drag Lightmatica and Molly Lip. It's that simple. So again, that was just create a mods folder. If you don't have one, if you have one, go ahead and open it up and then drag Lightmatica and Molly Lib into your mods folder. Now we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to click the little drop down box to the left of the play button here. Now, if you have a fabric loader profile that says like fabric loader, and then at the end, right under that, it says fabric loader again. And at the very end, it says 1.16.3. If you have that, you can go ahead and click on it and click play. But if you don't, here's how you can get that. Go ahead and click on installations at the top of Minecraft here. And then you want to go ahead and click on the plus new button there. See plus new? Click on that. And you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have Greed Protected Survival with Aquatic Survival having a slash shop based economy and an incredible, incredible community. And then we do have Medieval Survival with 30 custom quests and a player based economy. And then we also have Skyblock with fence generators, OP enchantments, and so much more. And then we have factions, which is just absolutely incredible. Small team player based factions. It's incredible. You'll love it. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now for the version, you want to click on this drop down here, and then you want to find release fabric loader, and then at the end it should say 1.16.3. So it should say release fabric, and then at the very end say 1.16.3. For me, it's right up here at the top. You may have to scroll down to find yours. I've seen it at the very, very bottom of the versions list here, but nonetheless, release fabric loader, and then at the end 1.16.3. I'm also going to change the resolution. You don't have to do that, but uh, we're making a video here. I want you all to be able to see what's getting game, so I'm changing that. You can click the green create button in the bottom right. And then we have this new profile, play.breakdowncraft.com. Should say fabric on the bottom. And as long as it says 1.16.3 on the end, we can go ahead and click play. But guess what? You now have installed Lightmatica. Unlike Forge, you don't install it in game. You just, you know, install it in the mods folder there using the run application. And then once you do that, you'll be able to um, open up with Fabric and it'll be installed. It's that simple and that easy. Now, it could take a minute since open up, as you see there, that was all real time. We didn't do any jump cuts or any tricky editing there, but it could take a minute to open up. But when it does, you will open up right like so. And there will be absolutely no indication on the Minecraft main menu that it worked, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. Um, that's just one of the weird things about Fabric is that uh, it doesn't have a mods list. So yeah, there's like no indication here on the Minecraft main menu that this is working, other than the fact it does say fabric modded in the bottom left, but you don't know if Lightmatica is installed. So we need to check that. To do that, we can just jump into my 1.16.3 test world here. And once we're loaded in game, we will be able to see that we can hit M plus C. Oh, we've actually got some schematica stuff already open there, in the bottom left. Now yours probably won't say that. You can press M plus C, right? Yours will probably look like this, but you can do M, C, and it'll open up this. This is the schematica kind of menu. You've got all these different changes you can do. And again, that was just the M on your keyboard, right? The, the letter M on your keyboard and then C and it'll open up right like so. And you'll have all these different, you know, options that you can select. The stick is actually the like basically controller for Schematica and you can hold control. And if you look down on the bottom left of the screen here, you'll be able to see that it is switching through all of the different modes that they have in Schematica here. As you can see, it's switching through all those right like so. And then I believe it is, let's see, what was the button? Uh, I forgot what button it was, sorry. <laughs> me one quick jump cut. So yes, if you just press M and then like release, you don't press M plus C at the same time, you just press M, it's gonna open up this, right? And this is where you can see the schematic placements and you can see you know, all the loaded schematics and all that stuff. You can load schematics. You can go ahead and like from here, actually see like create a new directory in your schematics and all that stuff. Now you might be wondering kind of where this is at right like where is these are these schematics you know held i'm going to show you that here in one second but first you can see all the different schematic menus here you can do the area editor currently in selection mode 
um, excuse me, so on and so forth, right? Like you can, you can kind of do all of that stuff. Now the stick that I'm holding in my hand, that is what makes this stuff appear in the bottom left, right? So if I take the stick out, it's there. The stick is like the placement tool. So if we go ahead and again, press in, just in, we'll be able to see like the schematic manager and all that stuff here. It's all kind of in game and uh, pretty cool stuff. But yeah, how do you find your schematics? Well, let's go ahead and show you. First, to prove we found the correct schematics area, we're going to go ahead and actually go into load schematics and we're going to create a test directory here. Now, the only reason we're doing that, creating this test directory, is that's going to show once we go to our schematics folder. Get to schematics, well, you're going to go ahead and open up that run application again. Again, you're going to type in percent app data percent. So, percent sign app data percent sign, exactly like so. Hit enter. You're again going to go into your dot Minecraft folder, except this time you're going to go into your schematic schematics folder down here. See the schematics folder? And then as you can see, we have this test directory. Pretty cool stuff, pretty easy. Now I believe if I go ahead and add in a new folder here, we can call it, um, I don't know, 1.16.3 schematics, for example. Right, like so. And then come back over here. We'll have to go ahead and like leave this menu, right, so we can hit escape and then come into load schematics again, and there is 1.316.3 schematics. Now, if we added schematics into this schematics folder here, right, somewhere in here, whether it's in one of these directories or in just this main folder, you would be able to come in here and load schematics and place those in game using this menu. Again, you can get to this menu by just pressing M on your keyboard. So there you have it. That is how you can get to schematics installed and get Lapmatica installed and all of that stuff. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But again, there is a tutorial on the schematics or Lapmatica, excuse me, down load page that you can go ahead and get there as well. But yeah, there you have it. That is how you can get schematics in Minecraft 1.16.3. If you got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Enjoy your newly found Lightmatica mod, and I'm out. Peace.